a good beautiful morning <clears throat> it's actually uh sweater weather we actually got a little a little rain last night and it brought a little cool front end it's not gonna be an easter snap for us because i mean it's only about 50 so great weather to work in so today today we're gonna try to finish up the cattle run Okay, so it's absolutely a beautiful day, like I said. So we've got the trailer in here. Look at all this wood. This is a lot of wood. Two inch by eight foot um, monster wood, heavy wood. And then it rained a little last night, so it's a little wet too. So it makes it real fun to work with today. All right, so let's look at the run. What we've got so far, the corral, excuse me. So we've got the head gate. We've got the swinging gate. Hang on. Of course, the milk extension. We've got all the wood that's gonna be here. And that's where actually the cows will go straight to the chute. But uh, you see we've got the run built with the corral panels. We've got to get two more corral panels right there. One right here. And then I'm going to put one right there. So that way, you know, cows like to freak out. So if they freak out before they get there, they can't go through the barbed wire. Which our cows are pretty calm. Maybe. So I think that'll work. So we're going, we got to reinforce that one corner. Um, but just get it in the ground a little bit better. But other than that, we need to get this wood up so we can go ahead and see. Let me tell you why I'm in such a rush. Okay, you know Ike. Ike is going to be the meat cow. Um, Ike is, uh, he's still a bull right now. I need to actually ban him or cut him. Um, so his mind is on eating and nothing else, if you get what I'm saying. So when we do that uh i gotta be and plus i'm taking josie off alley this next month in in may so for those two things i've got to have her a companion ike will be her companion but ike will be definitely more friendly and uh less wanting to mess with her if i go ahead and get him cut too so i need those two together Kristoff will kind of be with the mama still and also with uh, daddy o because he he will still be uh nursing off his mama for at least another three or four months so or excuse me two or three months so um, I just need to get this done. I need to get this run finished so I can check our mama cows, make sure they're bred, kind of see how far along they are. So let's go ahead and get the wood out, get this big wood started. We're gonna lay it up here. We're gonna use eight foot. We're only gonna allow usually four or five inches between each board, so it's not a lot of vision, but it allows us to see the cow. We're also gonna make a hole where we can put a rod in to where they can't back up. So I think it's gonna be a good idea. If this all works. A normal shoot, and any of you cattle people, I know y'all are laughing at me because y'all have these big, nice setups. Um, you know, you could spend anywhere from five to ten to fifteen thousand dollars on these these uh, cattle corrals and shoots. Uh, I'm gonna have probably less than about twelve hundred in mine, and I know everybody's like, "Yeah, but my cows could tear that up." Well, my cows can't, so it's gonna work perfect for me. So let's go ahead and get finished and get it started. It's a little chilly. I see one of my daughters coming out in like a full old, like parka. So uh, in the south, fifty is pretty cold. Hey, babe. Two down, several more to go. Then the second set. Okay, you can see I've got three boards high and I'm measuring off for the fourth side. I think I can go up with about 
five or six. I want it high enough to where if I do bring one of my bigger cows here, just for any certain reason, if I don't have that other one built up there at the other place yet, I can bring them in here. Ferdinand is definitely my biggest. If y'all remember, Ferdinand's huge. Remember, Ferdinand's huge. Um, so I need to get it big enough to where if I have to bring him here, he don't break it. He can't jump over. So uh, he's a beast. I'm not gonna lie, but I think I think I think we're beefing it up enough that um that he can't break it or bust it. Okay, so a little hiccup in my plan. Uh, I plan on doing one single side uh, versus doing double side. So I was gonna do single side versus double side. So I did double side. You see. Uh, it looks great. It actually enforces it better. I got a little tight here, and I'm just the more I think about, it, the more nervous I get to put the inside. Just put it straight inside on this working chute, so I'm scared to be too tight, and it might scare the cows from coming even even further in. So what I think I'm gonna do is just do single side on this outside to make it be around 30 inches or 29 inches here. Then here. It's tighter, it's more of a squeeze chute, so it's around 27 to 28 inches. So, so 29, 28, 29-ish, 26, 27-ish. Um, a little hiccup on my part, because I just put these too narrow, so. <laughs> Caused me to work harder. So that was not smarter, that was working harder. So anyway, so what I think I'm gonna do is do just single on the outside of those, of this working spot. And in the actual squeeze chute area right next to the head gate, go ahead and do double sided like I did on the other side, go ahead and finish out this side. It's more wood. Um, but to be honest with you, I only paid fifty dollars from a rough cut lumber shop here in town. So it's not like I'm I'm out of money. It's just more time that I didn't really uh, want to deal with. Yeah, things are awesome. No, don't go any higher. Uh 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 Leroy, come on. <clears throat> Now the help is really here and we can get some work done or slow it up. It'd be fun anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think? What do you think so far? It looks good. As long as we don't have a cow big enough to tear that down, I think we'll be all right. Well, Ferdy probably would tear it down, but we ain't bringing Ferdy up here, I don't think. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Fer Ferdy might not tell it. Do you think Ferdinand tear it down, maybe? Yeah. Probably not. I think you would. It's really good. Uh-huh. Do we need to go up one more level? I don't think we do, but what do you think? Yeah, because I mean, that's that's right at probably I mean, four and a half foot right there, don't you think? If Daddy-O bucks higher than that, we're going to be in trouble. Anyway. Daddy-O's back don't stand higher than that third one, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Probably about right here. <laughs> All right, so we've got it finished. Let's kind of do a walk through. Aiden, you act like a cow. Mama, you open the gate to the cow. Come on, big cow. Come on, cow. Sue! Hip hip! Hip hip! Right, hip hip! Run him! Run him! Where's the electric rod? Run, be the cow. There she comes. Heads in, ready to rock. All right, let me pierce your ear. <laughs> All right, so what do y'all think? It looks good, doesn't it? Happy it looks good. It looks really good. Mama, are you going to be the cow this time? I'm chasing your son. Jenny, are you the moo cow? Are you the moo cow? All right, let's do a walk through and we're going to finish up this video. All right, so now let's hardly close the stanchion off. Let's show what this door can do right here. So we've got the eight foot gate will close off the stanchion completely. So that way no cow can go in the stanchion. All right, so now let's open it up like normal. Hey, come on, buddy. All right, so we're going to open it up, and we'll get the cows in. So open it up. 
All right, let's look at what we've got. So we've got the run. We've got, this is where we'll have some feed troughs right here just so the cows can kind of hang out. They'll come around this tree. One good thing is this one here does move in and then this one here moves out and in as well. So I got this where it can move or I can go ahead and close the cow in it like that. So basically the cow cannot come out of the chute. So once we pass the main closure, the corral, we're in the actual working chute now. Now you see this is just single. This gives them a little bit more room so hopefully it won't freak them out right when they go in. But once they cross here, we have a piece of wood that will slide and they will not be able to back up. So then they'll be in the working chute. Then they'll actually maneuver into a tighter squeeze chute that we've made. And now they can't get any further, I mean any closer than this until, and if they start, say they don't want to go back, say they try to go backwards, we have the wood behind them. Well. If we can get them up to this point, here's another spot. It's double walled to give a little bit more support. Another piece of wood will go right here. So then once we move them up here, wood will go across right there too. So now they're locked into the actual chute. And then of course they have one way to go to the head gate. And of course, mommy will be handling that. And uh, my head will be in here. Like this, so the cow will be bucking around. Uh, it's on you, actually. Okay. <laughs> so the cow will be bucking around, but they will not be able to move um, because the head gate will have them. <coughs> Get my ear. <coughs> Ow! <laughs> All right, so we've got it done. The thing about, open this up right here. The thing about this chute, I want to I kind of talk about this head gate just for a second, and then we're going to end this video. We've got the manual. Uh, head gate. This is a, a three point head gate instead of a six point. I like the six point, but the six point's expensive. The three the three way basically just opens up, closes, and locks. The six way opens up this way. Um, they make an automatic version of this, but when you do that, sometimes if your cows are small or cows are big, it won't it won't adjust them right. So with us being able to do it with a handle with the manual, hey, it makes sure. more sense because hey, we have I'm cows walking sure. sides. So, so again, we got it done. Family. Doing it all together, everybody worked hard, and I think it looks really good. What do you think? It does look good. All right. God bless. Happy homesteading, y'all.